Hi, my super second graders. It's so good to see you. It's Mrs. Harp here. I wanted to share with you what your directions are for this week. I gave you some skill packets for reading and language arts. Those skill packets are specifically assigned to the skills that um, you need to practice and work on. You do not have to finish every single page today or tomorrow. You just have to have the packet finished before you bring your work packet back to me on Monday. Inside of that packet, you will see all kinds of phonics and reading and language arts and a little bit of writing. If you have any questions, ask a parent at home or send me an email or a dojo or whatever you need. You can also contact me on the Google Classroom. I leave you little notes on the Google Classroom for the assignments that you turn in. Be sure that you're reading those, okay? If you are a person who sees me for math, you have a new packet all about time. We talked a little bit about time the other day when I was talking with you here in person. Time to the minute um, at the hour, so the o'clock. Okay, I gave you some video links that will help you learn how to tell time. If you're a person who has a watch clock in your house with the numbers that goes around the face of the clock, be sure to be practicing. Ask mom and dad to give you some chances. What time do I have my snack? What time do I take a bath at night? What time do we go to bed? What time do I have dinner or lunch or breakfast? What time do I get up for school? All of those things will help you and you can practice with those clocks. I gave you a little brad, a little prong that sticks into the clock so you can spin the hands around, okay? Also, you need to be logging in and working on the Super Kids website if I assign you an assessment. I will tell you on the Google Classroom, please log on and complete Super Kids Unit 18, 12, one, whatever I assign to you. The computer grades that for me and then I can put those grades into my grade book. This week I shared with you a lovely story that we talked about during our group speech. Bear snores on. It's about a funny bear who sleeps through a party. Make sure that you listen to that story and then next week, I'll be sending you home a work packet and you're going to make an activity about a bear, okay? So you can pause that and restart it. You can rewatch it as many times as you want. We listen to it two times in our room so we can remember who came first, who came next, who came then, and who came in last to the cave. When you are writing incomplete sentences, make sure every single sentence in the whole wide world starts with a capital letter and ends with a period or a question mark or an exclamation mark. Proper nouns also get capital letters. All of those are notes that I left you in your Google Classroom activities. If you have any questions or you need some help, or you're missing something, please let me know. I look forward to seeing you all very soon and have an amazing week. It's beautiful outside. The sun is out, the snow is melting. I'm so excited. I will see you all very soon. I miss you.